Hello, love. Welcome home to Eden. This is Eve Kristoff, your love life muse. Stick with me and subscribe to this channel, Love Life with Eve, to get somewhere new. I'm here to offer you a rare glimpse at sexual divinity and the sacred truth of women. And today the topic is, what do women prefer, a circumcised man or an uncircumcised man? Well, before I dive into this topic, I really want to say whatever you have is perfectly adequate. <laughs> You're a beautiful being and uh, I don't want you to feel inadequate either way because your love life with women is something you can really, really <laughs> have an impact on with how you treat her with your hands, your mouth, your heart, your spirit, <laughs> as well as the cock that you have every size and shape matters. <laughs> but this topic is such an incredibly important one to really understand for the babies to come and of this world, for you fathers to um, really, really get that um, the foreskin of a man was made divinely by Creator Goddess <laughs> and God for very important reasons. And if you take 85% of women who have experienced sex with both men, they will always say that the uncircumcised man was much more pleasurable, more comfortable, more sensual. He had way more sensational ability. He was much more grateful for her um, demonstrations of love on him. He was m more, more orgasmic and she is twice as able to reach orgasm with an uncircumcised penis as with a circumcised one. Now, where am I getting these facts? I've, I have looked into this for quite a while. I would love you to see the video um, by Adina Rivers, for example, on, um, on circumcision. So, this is why. This is, this is what's happening. So, uh, over half the, the, the sensational receptors in the penis are in the foreskin. That's 20,000 receptors. Okay, so it, it, you take that away and now you've also taken away the fact that the foreskin has a lubricant of its own, a natural lubricant and a, um, a softening and a massaging of her G-spot and so the, the whole sensual experience for her, it's like she's being warmed up, she's being taken care of. Also, he, with his foreskin, is protected all day, so that means he's more sensitive, more able to feel when he is being erotic with her because he's been protected all day. All right, so these are some f physical things, but there's an, there's an emotional, there's a, a spiritual thing that makes a, a, an uncircumcised man a lot more uh, wonderful for a woman to make love with. Um, and this has to do with his feelings towards women. Because many men don't realize it, but they have a... Uh, an unconscious hatred of the feminine um, which stems from the moment they were born their mother being so deeply out of tune with love for him that she would allow him to be chopped uh, up by a knife I mean really if you imagine how far away how divorced a woman has to be from mothering and from from loving her child to allow anybody to take a knife and say oh you know ears aren't fashionable I don't think they look that good just take it off you know or just take off one of those ears you know or how about both you know um, because it's just religion. It's all these things that are saying this is better for men. When you look at it scientifically, it's not at all true because there's um, the, the penis is protected by the, the foreskin from um, many different viruses. Uh, the penis, it, they say um, it's that you're more able to get venereal diseases if it's a circumcised penis. It's not at all true. That's it's just the same. That That is no difference. <laughs> um, but the, the, the unconscious hatred of the feminine is a big deal in, in the sexual department because a man who has none of that, who deeply feels trust of woman from day one, 
uh, who, who feels uh, that he can count on her to protect him and look out for him in, in his tenderest, most sensual, sacred um, uh, feelings is, is going to have a different level of openness to her, her pleasure and her sexuality and he's not going to be trying to get her back basically by sabotaging or undermining the experience in various ways. Now this isn't to say that all men who are circumcised have uh, these profound issues with women, but it is to say that generally a woman who allowed that to happen to her child is likely to be a different kind of a mother in general in over the course of his lifetime um, because there's no way there's no way if you're feeling uh, on behalf of your child that you you and you're in tune with your, your womanliness and, and your ma maternal instinct and and your your care for uh, that child having everything it needs in this lifetime from the divine. There's no way you can ever let let purposefully actually go there and say, please take this knife and cut off part of my child. Would you? And not only that, the most tender, sensitive part of the body. Um, that for a newborn baby, and now this is the thing, babies, infants have, th their capacity to feel is hundreds of times higher than us uh, adults, so that means taste is more intense, hot and cold is way more intense, and their genitalia is way more sensitive. So when, when you do this to little boys, they go into, they black out, uh, they they um, have seizures, they, they start to choke. And when they did an uh, MRI study of the brain of an infant before his circumcision and after, they saw ir irreversible changes in the brain that were just the whole brain went into trauma mode. And when they kept over the years looking at the brain of these infants that had changed after circumcision or during it, uh, they never reverted back to their original brain. The brain was restructured around trauma. This is really heavy duty. This is a really big deal. <laughs> okay, so uh, there's another reason why, uh, yet another reason why they say um, people from Latin and African cultures are better lovers. Well, it might be that they, the white women didn't get to destroy half of their sensational ability. <laughs> okay, so tragic because in general, um, in, in these other cultures, the men are not circumcised. In some of the cultures, women are, which is a huge travesty, you know, way, way, way worse to do this to a woman because of what it means for her reproductive ability and her pain throughout her whole life. Um, the men who have are circumcised, they don't get pain their whole life, although they are more vulnerable to all kinds of discomforts and, and itchiness and dryness and um, numbness um, from being circumcised. But um, it's that all this pleasure has been taken away. With women, with her circumcision, it's, it's pain is given from then on that never would have been there. So well, we won't get into the woman thing right now, okay? <laughs> That's horrible. Um, so yeah, I would say um, women prefer uncircumcised hands down. If they get to experience the two, they can't deny that the, the um, also the, this, so he's more sensitive, he's full of more sensation, but also the foreskin is massaging and filling her uh, uh, on a fuller level too, and, and moving, moving with her so that instead of having friction with intercourse, she's getting massaged on the inside. Uh, so, and this emotional thing of like uh, uh, the women who have um, not done this to their children, um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's really, really, really different uh, emotionally to be with somebody who ha feels a deeper trust of woman and, and deeper gratitude and deeper entombment. And um, so women, please, if you're watching this, <laughs> speak out against circumcision. 
a hundred babies a year die from it, from complications from it, and it's a it, this whole religious thing. Um, there is so much that's wrong in this whole religious world against women and children, sexuality and sensuality. If a re religion is afraid of sexuality, there you go. Just take away half the man's pleasure. Just do that first thing. Right, and then tell him women are bad, and now he's numb enough that maybe he won't care if he doesn't get much sex because, you know, if she's so out of tune with everything, she would cut her own baby up. <laughs> Not funny. Sorry to talk about this this way, but uh, there you go. All right, much love, darling. Love your life and love yourself no matter what because you can overcome we can all overcome all of our um all of our disasters all of our difficulties we can all, so usually you know if we something's been taken from us it makes us uh, reach into a new capacity of ourselves and become more of of who we would have been if, if that um, difficulty hadn't been there so um, <laughs> that's always great to be learning and, and expanding because of something that's been taken away so you are whole you are you, your capacity for pleasure is really spiritual that's the, the deepest level of, of your capacity for pleasure is to go to the heart realm of love, which opens up all kinds of sensuality in the body, all kinds of um, pleasure synapses that you've never explored actually open with love, with a loving partner that you trust. But if you're lucky enough to never have been um, robbed of any part of your body, Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. And please don't ever go and get yourself circumcised. Please don't. It's not about looks. I mean, come on. You. Oh. Anyway, the moment you start getting really aroused, the foreskin pulls back anyway. You can see that beautiful head. Just don't do that to yourself, okay? All right, please. Much love, darling. Love life.